The Confederate statue at the Lauderdale County Courthouse will stay put despite the efforts of a nonprofit to have it moved. Now, though, a compromise. The statue stays and gets an attachment. WFO 40 gets Aria Pons live now at the Lauderdale County Courthouse where that Confederate statue stands. Aria, this organization Project Say Something has been trying to move that statue for a long time. Liz, the founder of Project Say Something, Camille Bennett, says she's been in this fight for about seven years now. She says she doesn't want the statue destroyed, just move away from the courthouse. Now, that's not happening, but it looks like we might see a new marker just a little ways away from the statue explaining the historical context. Clear the bushes. And I would think it would be erected somewhere around here. Florence city leaders and nonprofit members in the Shoals are working together in order to create a marker to place in front of a Confederate statue. Founder of that nonprofit project say something Camille Bennett says she would like the Confederate statue known as Eternal Vigil moved from in front of the courthouse. However, she says for now the marker is a step in the right direction. Um, it, it's important because it educates the community. It's not a it's not, not necessarily about putting what side against the other. It's about education and it's about telling the truth about what was said when the when the Confederate monument was erected and how it impacts black lives. Bennett says the marker will address the history of why the statue was placed here. That includes comments made during its dedication speech from 1903. Every time you look at this Confederate monument, we understand what it means and we understand that it means that our stories can't be told, that our perspective, the black perspective cannot be told. And we think that that is a gross injustice. She believes that everyone should know the facts behind the statue and be able to decide for themselves how they feel about it. Our hope is, is that, you know, some of our students, schools will come and visit the marker and also look at the Confederate monument. And it, it, it's just a, a way for them to, really uh, think through what all of it means and, and, and draw their own conclusion. City leaders say the marker isn't set in stone just yet. Both groups say they're still working out the kinks on where the marker will go and what it will say. Reporting live in Florence, Aria Pons, 48 on your side.